In this fifth tutorial on how to use uh, OrientDB, we're going to explore how to query data. We do some simple and some more complex queries. Again, it is important that you have the model in front of you to understand the queries I'm creating. Um, it's in the blog post if you want to see it there. I'm also showing it here. Um, but all the queries are over this model. By now you should know that we're going to be using OrientDB Studio. I'm going to do a simple query first. Just select from member and um, start from member, which we've seen before. It gives you all the members. We can obviously add a where clause. Here, for instance, I'll just uh, select a specific member. Um, say the member with the ID 1156, which was my record in the database. But let's do something more complex where we start transposing or traversing. So I'm going to traverse from um, this member that is me and say get all the articles that I have published. So we would then traverse the out um, out of member, which is the publishes or the ones that I have published. So. Um, I think I call it authors, so traverse out authors, and we can execute through that pretty simply. Now notice that it gives me the articles, but it also gives me myself, because that was one of the objects that I traversed. If I wanted to just get the articles, I can now do a simple select from the set that was returned from the previous query, and say where the class is article. This should take away the member, that is me, and show me only the articles. And as I'm executing through that query, you'll see that I've been removed and we only see the articles. Now let's now, now that we know that this query works, we could, for instance, create a function out of it. So I'm going to select it and go into functions. Okay, so in the functions, uh, well, while I'm in the function, I'm going to create one called get articles and we'll select JavaScript as the language again and uh, add a parameter which is the only input that I had to the query that we did under the browse which is the author ID or the member um, so I can paste in the uh, what I did from in the uh, browse window and uh, I need to create a command but first let's grab the graph database um, or the graph API as we did uh, in a previous tutorial and I'm going to create a command now I really just want to construct a string and the only thing that's different that would be different is the ID in in this area so I could basically just create construct a string by quoting from uh, you know what is uh, constant which is this part plus the member which is going to be the ID of the member and then finally um, just take away the the ID and quote that again and I'll show you a little trick here um, which which I often do is I just to check things out I just return the the, uh, the string itself and execute that just to make sure I got it right so uh, if I were to execute with 1156 can I now go back and get back into the browse window by taking the result that string that I constructed and executed on uh, inside the browse window and if I do I see I'm getting exactly what I want so I can now close up the function go back to the function and 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 say okay this one works as I expected so instead of returning C then I can basically execute that um, function and uh, and uh, and set the language to SQL, uh, pass in the command, and then empty array of parameters and return that and uh, save it. And we could make sure that it works. So put in 11.56 again, execute, and we see that we get the, uh, the expected result as a JSON string. Notice also that I made the function ID, uh, item potent as I'm not changing the database. Let's move on and create a few more ad hoc queries. Perhaps the first one, uh, what if we wanted to know all authors, all members that had authored something, for instance, we could uh, simply do that by saying 
select star from member where alt authors is uh, not null that would give us all the ones that have um, that have published something uh, is null would be the ones that haven't published although I don't really know for sure if that's true so let's use the function we created in the previous tutorial and create some arbitrary member test maybe 10 of them and um, go back and execute um, the same query so select star from member where um, out authors uh, is null and um, see if we get those 10 they obviously can't have produced anything and we see that that is exactly what we get so this all looks good now in general you can imagine almost anything that you could do in a relational database you can do also in orient db it's not worth making functions of this so let's move on now let's uh, let's try to do something slightly more complex i'll start by selecting me from the membership again so i'm select star where from member where our ID is 1156 just make sure it works and it gets me back now here's a typical way of working now if I wanted to continue doing something from here and what I want to know for instance is all the the authors that I authored with let's do something more complex but you would do this in step so let's first traverse all the articles find all the articles that I've uh, I have published let me see that we get the two articles but we also get me uh, which is fine in this case um, then um, the next thing I want to do from here is to continue to tra traverse those articles and get um, say all the authors of those articles um, just execute that and okay that gives me the same thing I, I, I don't want an article the authors of the ones that uh, that I authored what I need to do first is I need to traverse from all the articles all the um, uh, outgoing replies so I, I should now get all the replies also so you see I now have another article which it was a reply to mine and what I really want to get to is all the authors that have replied to one of my articles or so I need to continue uh, to traverse from those articles the incoming authors so from that same statement and uh, let's do that and now I should find uh, John also from a previous tutorial um, if you don't remember anyway we created an article there so now I want to select all only the members uh, I don't need the articles I only want the authors so I'll select star from um, from all the objects returned from the previous query and now I'll do where the class is a member but also where uh, the RID is not my ID in other words I, I don't want to know about me now I should get all the the members to have answered one of my blog posts or answered to something that I wrote let's see if that works and I get John which is exactly what we wanted now this would be a function worth saving right this is fairly complicated so I'm gonna copy it go back to the functions and then create a new function um, so hit new um, call this um, what should we call it get uh, get the uh, members that replied or reacted to something I wrote maybe so JavaScript again um, and I'm gonna paste in the the query from the last time but before I do that let's say we just want to know anyone that reacted to some other members post again we have the same situation we're gonna create the um, the graph database API uh, or obtain that by doing uh, orient.getGraph and next what I'll do is I'll um, um, create the command using the same pattern as I used before just so it's not too confusing uh, again uh, it's pretty simple here I'll, the only thing that is different um, or the only thing I need to genericize I guess is the IDs so um, I'm going to add member 
instead of the 1156 here starting up um, the quotes again and uh, at the end here I'm using that member again so this should work um, semicolon let's do the same trick again return C so we can check it out so um, so uh, just um, return C this again is just my way of of verifying that I'm doing things correct I like to do them one step at a time so let's do the um, 1156 execute we see we get a query that's a fairly big query I'll select that query uh, I think it continues down further than this uh, maybe I'll making this window a little bigger yes there I can see so I'll select the query and then go back into the browse window and uh, in the browse window execute exactly that query and see if I get what I expected so let's execute the query and we got John so it looks like we did it correctly and then of course we don't want to return the query um, command what we want to do is execute it so we'll do g dot command and then as before select the language then the command and then um, empty array of parameters and perhaps return that I should also set this function to be idempotent so we're not changing anything in the database so that would be the right thing to do so let's try it out 1156 and yes indeed we are getting back the articles no sorry the members that have published a reply to one of my articles. Let's take a look at some alternative ways that we could have written this query. I was using primarily the document API again, so let's let's look at how we could do it more graph oriented. Let's start with something very simple. Uh, in this case, I have a um, used a graph. There is a couple of important changes here. Notice in the there it's basically a select from the um, the member with the ID 1156, so that's the starting point. And then what I'm doing is I'm basically expanding from there. So I'm ex or expanding is basically the final step to to expand all the attributes. But um, I'm basically navigating from 1156, going out the author link then out the uh, replies link so the first one out the authors obviously now I get all the article that 1156 wrote then out the replies link which would give me all the replies all articles that replied to it and then I'm going from there into the author now I have all the authors that replied directly to one of my articles and then I expand those properties now it's important to note here that I would now only get the direct respondents, not all respondents. So if I wanted to know um, who responded to someone that responded to me, then then this query wouldn't work. Let me show you a slightly different query that might work. In this case, I have uh, the same base. Basically, I'm starting at the root. 1156 I have a select from 1156 now I'm expanding the properties that I can find by going out through the authors link in other words all the articles that uh, this author has uh, authored and um, then all the replies so that's my starting point and then from there I traverse out all the replies so all the ones that replied to that, but notice this is a traverse, so this will continue um, and traversing replies until you know there are no more replies. So I basically get all the articles, and then from there I'm expanding. Um, I'm doing a select where I'm expanding the properties from the in authors. So in remember that. The, the vertex goes into the article so I um, need to look at the vertex in for authors to find the authors so this would be a more appropriate query a little longer I may have to actually filter out myself here or the 1156 from that result in case I continue to answer but maybe technically if I answered myself I am one of the respondent it depends on how you see it 
Well, I think that's enough examples for this tutorial. So thank you again for watching. And uh, I suggest you try to do the various uh, queries that was suggested in uh, the blog post if you want some practice or create your own. Anyway, thank you very much. And as usual, leave comments if you have something you want us to improve or something you liked.